Hello YouTube, Fuzzfinger here once again playing the wonderful Kingdom Hearts. Thanks for joining me today and the plan is we're going to get some bits done that we couldn't get done previously in Traverse Town here and depending on how long that takes we might end up moving on to other areas as well. So please do stick around and join me and if you enjoy this episode don't forget to hit, hit the like button and subscribe to the Fuzzfinger Gaming channel. We made it back previously to Traverse Town, having making our way through the deep jungle, helping Tarzan and Jane, and what fun that was jumping over hippos and climbing up vines, rescuing monkeys and fighting Clayton. So, with all that behind us, one thing I did forget to mention actually is to make sure you equip the Keyblade that we did collect at the end of the last area. So if you go to Sora's equipment and then the Kingdom Key, which is the default Kingdom key item that we'll be using that we collected first near the start of the game we're going to go down and select the jungle king as you can see it does provide a bit of a boost to our strength so there's no reason not to take that at all and it is easy to forget to easy to forget to do so just make sure you go ahead with that before we actually move on next starting at the accessory shop here in traverse town we're going to make our way down the alley because we can actually access a new kind of trinity mark now and that's these red ones, which you can see scattered around the place. And there's one here just on the fence. So we'll go ahead and use this. And with this Trinity Mark, we'll basically smash our way through things so that we can reach new areas, new items, new chests. And in this case, a new bunch of Dalmatian puppies. Numbers 4, 5 and 6, which we will return home safely. And actually, we're going to just pop over, I think to the Dalmatians because we haven't collected any rewards from them just yet but we should be able to now. Can we jump up here? Oh, for some reason we can't grasp onto that ledge. Well we'll just have to go the long way around I guess. So we need to head into the second district. If you remember it's just past the gummy shop or the gizmo shop so not the gummy shop. So we'll have to fight our way through the second district in order to reach the Dalmatians. And we'll have some new types of enemies as well. And as usual, you can either fight them or run away from them. But then, of course, you won't get the lovely experience that makes fighting in pretty much any role-playing game almost mandatory. And we'll also encounter the original enemies that we've already fought up until this point as well. And we get to use our shiny new Keyblade as well, which is all awesome. Don't forget when those big fellas do that jump thing, you can actually just jump over the shockwave. Although they don't like being attacked from the front. So we're getting some nice amounts of experience from these new enemies. And was that Sora, I believed, leveled up? Anyway, I'll fight the rest of these enemies and I'll meet you at the Dalmatian shop. Here I am just outside the Dalmatian shop which is down uh, through the alley past the Gizmo shop which I mentioned. And we're just going to enter inside here and hopefully reunite some of these lost puppies with their parents. And we can actually access the gift now, which is a Kuragar G in this case, and a Firegar G because of how many puppies we've brought back. And as we continue to bring puppies back uh, and meet certain thresholds in numbers, then we'll get even further rewards. So there are a few more puppies we can actually collect from Traverse Town on this visit, but we won't actually be able to reach the next threshold. So that's why I was happy to go and hand those in now. Actually, we can just take a brief detour. If you head back into the Dalmatian's house and make your way all the way through the different rooms and then into the alleyway on the other side, 
There's another secret we can go and find. You will get monster spawns, heartless spawns, as usual. If you head into the waterway here, you can see that it's kind of fenced off with these metal poles. But there is a trinity mark here. So we can go ahead and barge our way through once again. And into a hidden area, the secret waterway. Where we can find Leon training. And Ares just kind of standing there, I guess, admiring him. So we're going to go ahead and speak to Leon multiple times here. Once you spoke to him, make sure to speak to him again. Eventually, if we get through all his dialogue, we'll get an item from him. We get the earth shine, which is a gem, a stone. And with some instructions to go and speak to Sid who, as we all know, is located in the accessory shop. So just over here, there's some steps and another chest containing more Dalmatians, this time numbers 10, 11 and 12. And nothing else to see or do up here. So with that chest collected and the earthstone item found, we're going to make our way back to the accessory shop at the entrance to Traverse Town and see what Sid has to say for himself. So we're literally just going to backtrack the way that we came here. And we can either make our way through down there or back to the Dalmatian house. I guess we'll do the latter. Just on the off chance that we did get enough Dalmatians to unlock the next prize. But I really don't think we have. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sometimes the camera angles in this game can throw you off a little bit, which is frustrating. But that's true pretty much of most games from this period. Oh, there is another reward for us. We'll go and pick that up as well. Approach it. Thunder RG this time. And we just have to make our way around back to the first district. Here we are back in first district. And don't forget, folks, as you're fighting around now, you do have access to the cure materia, which is obviously going to come in useful throughout the game. So make sure you're making use of it already. Back into the accessory shop we go. And we'll go ahead and speak to Sid. He asks us what we've got. We'll show him the new stone. So Sid's going to offer to fit the new gummy part for us.
but it seems like he's going to want us to run an errand before he does so. It's usually the way, isn't it? And we get the old book and we need to deliver it to somebody within the third district. So it looks like we've got a few things now to be cracking on with. And we're going to be heading over to the third district first of all. So let's make sure we're saved up healed up and ready to go. To get to the third district we need to basically make our way through the second district and we all know the drill now don't we I'm sure. And we'll once again be encountering some new flavours of the Heartless including this flying bat slash monkey type here which actually can be quite a pain to hit. Ah, another level up just what I like to see. But as usual, when you do kill those ones that are slightly harder to hit, they also provide some nice amounts of experience for you. There we go. So clear out the area, and then I'll show you what it is you need to do next. Or rather, I should say I'll clear out this area, and then show you what we need to do next. Just make sure you do try and save some MP after that fight. And there is quite a few tricky enemies that will keep spawning, so just bear that in mind. Then you're going to approach this door with a fire symbol. And, perhaps unsurprisingly, cast fire on it. That will give you access to the mystical house here. And this is a mystical place, isn't it? So we've got some stepping stones that we can jump across. Try not to fall into the water as we do so. Or... Unsurprisingly, you will have to make your way back to the start. Don't forget, if need be, you can just use the Keyblade key blade Midair in order to just extend your jump. There's something about this musty place. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kairi? Sora? Yes, here we have Merlin from Disney Sword and Stone.
Okay, so we've actually met some new characters here. So we need to speak to Merlin and tell him about the book that Sid has asked us to hand over. And then the stone that Leon gave us, apparently we need to go and speak to the fairy godmother about it. See if we can get any insight into it. Well that sounds interesting, a summon gem. Yay, we learned a summon spell. And to use it, we need three party members in battle, which we currently have. And we can use it once per battle. And that's pretty much all we need to do in here for now, although, as you've probably guessed already, we will be back. So we're going to make our way back out of this area now and into the normal districts. Although, uh, sit, we are receiving instruction to go and see Sid, so we will do that. Grab the Trinity Mark first. Collect a Mega Ether, not too shabby at all, eh? We can save up now or we'll just save up later. Which we're going to do anyway, so I'm just going to leave it for the time being. Just make your way back through to the green cloth curtain thingy. And then we just need to, once again, jump over all the fun stuff, although we can actually swim through if we want to now. It doesn't really matter. Since we can make our way up the other end here. And then back into the third district. And we're not done yet in the third district. And who's this? There you it's are. Riku. What's going on? Riku! Hey, hey, cut it out! I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kyrie? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too, with their help. Who are they? We visited so many places and worlds, looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora's the Keyblade Master. Who was a planet? What's that mean? So, this is called a Keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Catch. 
Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Forget us. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. Riku? Nice going. Oh, well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kairi soon, too. Right, so after that interesting cutscene there involving Riku, we need to make our way back towards the second district, but before we do, we're going to actually enter this house just near the exit to the district, the small house. And inside we'll find Sid. We'll go ahead and talk to him. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. So that warp G that Sid's just given us, as you can probably tell by the description, is going to come in particularly useful. So our next destination is going to be the gizmo shop once more. But we're not actually, that's the main like, story destination if you like, but we're not actually going to head there immediately. Instead we're going to make our way all the way back to the first district once more. Just going to ignore these guys for now. Just for the sake of the video. We're going to make our way, as I was saying, back to the first district where we're going to encounter Sid again. And that will just give us opportunity to save the game to check our equipment and stock up on potions because when we do go to the gizmo shop we're actually going to be making our way to another boss encounter I don't recommend skipping out on battles I'm doing that solely for your sakes go ahead and speak to Sid And we get the Comet G this time. Apparently it's a special giveaway. How kind of Sid. So we're going to head back to the accessory shop. And save up. And don't forget to visit the item shop. Check out your potions. Check out your equipment as well. Just make sure everybody's sporting the latest goods. And then hopefully we'll be ready to proceed. Okay, so here we are back at the gizmo shop. I've having had to fight my way back here uh, then we just enter as usual no surprises there there will be enemy encounters of course 
But the main aim is that we want to head out of the other door on the other side. And once we've done that, we want to look around, and there should, somewhere around here anyway, again it's hard to see because of the camera angles, be a ladder. This wasn't present on our first visit, or at least it was broken. This will take us onto the roof, where we can see a red trinity mark. So we'll clear the enemies. So with this red trinity mark, we can access the bell that we've been instructed of. And the plan is we want to pull it. But not just once, multiple times. Three times to be precise. This will turn the block, various orientations. And after the third ring, would unlock the boss fight. So we're just going to make our way back down now towards the area that we've just seen stuff happening with, if we can say it that way. scene and it's the guard armor again remember this fella from earlier on but this isn't actually the guard armor this is his brother the opposite armor and we want to start by attacking the arms of this fella not the legs because he has this annoying spin attack which you can see here so we do need to try and finish that off I wouldn't recommend summoning summoning uh, Simba even though you might be tempted to do so. Just try and avoid that ability. And once the arms are defeated, then it's going to show us its true form. This is the opposite armour. And we do again want to just take out the arms first because it has a nasty attack. So try and dodge damage, obviously. And cure up if Goofy doesn't heal you. It will also have quite a nasty attack, uh, a beam attack. And the only easy way to avoid it is to head out of line of sight, such as down past the stairs, or through the alleyway, or something along those lines. So again, we're trying to target those arms. Goofy, I've given the shield, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, Storm Shield or something. One that is good for defence anyway, so that he can really just concentrate mostly on healing and not taking a lot of damage. And of course he's going to be stocked up to the gills with potions. And try and get rid of this other arm now. Let's move out of the way there so I can see what I'm targeting. There we go. Once we've got rid of the arms we're going to concentrate on the feet. At which point the body itself shouldn't be too much of a challenge. There's the beam I was talking about, so. It does do a substantial amount of damage. Just hide behind the walls here. Obviously Goofy and Donald are a little bit dense, so they're not going to do exactly what you want them to do. It'll cast it, I think, about four times. And because of the height this thing likes to take as it floats around, you might just struggle a little bit 
in reaching it. Here comes the beam again, which is really hard to dodge. Even using the uh, dodge roll that we have. Is that the last time? Nope. Right, that's the other arm down. Next, we're going to concentrate uh, mostly, well, actually totally, on the feet area. And obviously, once you see the orbs fly everywhere, you know that you've gone ahead and let's just dodge this thing. Missed one. Wow, he's chasing us now, isn't he? Oh, there we go. One more. You probably won't get to kill the feet. Because after a certain amount of damage, he does suck everything back into his body. But that's okay, because it means he's close to death anyway. Like there's an arm back or something, doesn't it? Try and dodge that. There we go. That's it. You fire another one. We dodge it. And again. Any more? Okay, so now it's just the main body. Which really won't take too much time. From this point to delete. Delete? Is that really the word I'm looking for? I've got to say, Goofy's shield, when he takes the damage, it's awesome at defending. There we go, look. He's done it. Everybody's leveled up as well. And we get the arrow spell to add to our repertoire of magic. Okay, so next up, back to speaking to Sid again. So we're going to make our way to the first district. Just going to check what levels we're at now. 19, 18 and 23. Making good progress there on our characters. So we'll go and speak to Sid. Okay, so we can't do much with that nav piece that we've collected at the moment, but we can speak to Sid once more. And if we go onto his buy menu, we can actually purchase navy pieces from him at this point. So you see lots and lots of different navy pieces. I recommend getting the uh, com dot level two for the time being. But you can also just go ahead and purchase anything else that you want to get as well. But folks, that's it from me for today, I think, because, well, I think we've done quite a bit and I need to go and have a rest from Kingdom Hearts. So come back and join me next time and we'll continue on with the game and we'll enter some new areas and get some all new stuff sorted and underway. So thanks a lot for joining me today, folks. 
I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, do go ahead and hit the like button and come back soon as we carry on with the game. Take care, folks. Bye for now.